Welcome back guys. Today we're going to cover Docker health checks. Health checks are needed to ensure your containers are healthy before you start your application. For example, if you want to automatically run your migrations after your API Docker started, then you won't be able to do that if your database isn't ready to handle traffic. You're going to see an error similar to this, connection refused. And the reason why I get this error is because inside my Docker entry point file, let's find that here, I am running here php artisan migrate but because we don't have a health check by the time this part executes the database isn't necessarily ready to handle traffic to get started you're going to need our project starter files so you want to go to google and you want to search for emad e m a d z a a m o u t github i also added this link in the description so you can get it from there you want to go to repositories and here you should search for or find course docker health check starter files let's go ahead and copy this link here and you want to clone this project inside the terminal i'm going to create a new project folder i'm going to call it docker dash health checks let's go ahead and go inside our new directory i'm going to write git clone paste the url i'm going to add a dot so we can do it in this directory and once that's done let's go ahead and open this in vs code for this empty Laravel project, we already have built these Docker images and containers in our previous courses. If this is brand new to you, please watch those courses first. So here we have an API container and a MySQL container, nothing fancy. Inside our Docker file, if you scroll down all the way, we're using an entry point file that's inside our Docker folder called entrypoint.sh. In here, if you scroll down, you should find these two commands. We're doing composer install and php artisan migrate. Let's go ahead and run our project. I'm going to write make in it. If you guys watched my previous videos, you know that I really like using make files because they make our life easier. If you haven't used make files before, they're nothing new. We're just basically adding all our Docker containers behind make commands. And this just makes our life easier. Now, once this is done, let's go ahead and open Docker. And in here, looks like we have an error. Let's click on our API. And here you can see we have a connection refused. If you don't see this error and it worked, it just means you got lucky. You want to go back to your code editor. You want to go to your entry file and you want to comment out the composer install. And I can explain why we get lucky. So do make in it again. If you don't see this, because the composer install takes a long time, it usually buys time for your database to fully be running. But once you remove that, you should see this error here. Connection refused. That's because we're running our migrate, but our database isn't ready. And here it looks like it restarted and we can see the same error connection refused. Let's go to our Docker compose file and you can see here we have our database. Let's open API. All right. So what we want to do is first we want to add health checks to our MySQL database. So right under volumes, I'm going to add it here. Health check. And there is a few commands here. The first one's going to be test. This is the command that we're going to write that will execute our health check. Then we have interval, we have timeout and we have retries. For the interval, I'm going to set our health check to run every five seconds. You don't want to set a big number because that will delay your application start if it started before that five second interval. So if you put like a minute, for example, your application won't start unless a minute passes by. The timeout, I'm going to set it to five seconds as well. The retries, I'm going to set it to five retries. After this, your health check will fail. For the test, here we're going to add our command. And we want to execute this in shell. So we write cmd dash shell. And for our command, we're going to use mysql admin and ping. So ping will just ping our database and return a status if it's successful or not. And I'm going to specify the host. It's going to be local host. I'm going to specify the user. That's Laravel. The password is secret. And if this failed, I'm going to exit with an error status one. And this is information is right here. The uh, username, password. Once you have your health check in here, we want to instruct our API container to use that. So in here, we write depends on and database underscore MySQL. So this will depend on this service. This service will not start unless this service is started. Under here, we want to add a condition. And that's going to be when the service is healthy. And this will run all health check. So let's give this a try. Let's do make init. 
and looks like it worked let's open docker let's go to our api container and you should see our migrations ran let's go back to our entry point and let's just uncomment this line out so just because we got lucky because the composer install takes a long time it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do sometimes you want to run like specific queries seeders and things like that from your application so you want to make sure that you have these health checks so that before we run our entry point file and our api container starts we want to make sure our database is ready as we see here i hope you guys found this tutorial useful thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video